Ayo, what is up? Sorry, I was having a little problem with my screen stuff there. But we are going to be hopping back into Nancy Drew, finally. So I tried, I tried, believe me, I tried so hard to get it to where we could play um, Nancy Drew and the Secret of the Old Clock. Like, I know that's the next one in the series, and if I can get it up at some point, I will. I did all the things it told me to do to download it like through my CD I have most of the CDs I did all the things on the forums I did everything and it wouldn't work I even bought it on Steam downloaded it that way wouldn't work like this game just did not want to work on my computer which is weird because I played it before on the same computer it just does not want to work so unfortunately we skipped on to the last train to Blue Moon Canyon which is my favorite one in the series so well I think it is I gotta say it's probably my favorite one but we'll hop into it. I'm super excited to be back with Nancy Drew. Sorry it took so long. I was just trying to figure out how to do, um, just how to get the Secret of the Old Clock working. But it just, it wouldn't go. So, here we are. Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Welcome and I'm super to my excited. latest case. La Dear Hannah, here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives about to board a train bound for who knows where. The only person who knows where we're going is Lori Gerard. That's the young woman who invited everyone. Actually, she didn't really invite me. I like how she the fuzz Frank doesn't. Joe Hardy, it's a little bit me. sketchy down there and at the I've bottom. Always wanted to join forces with it the sounds Hardy good. Boys. Thanks, Bailey. I just hope this doesn't turn out to be another one of Lori's silly attempts to grab publicity. Some people can be a little too rich and a little too famous for their own good. Yeah, Wish me luck. that's luck a good, Nancy. that's a statement right well, there. people, now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. Okay, I, again, am Lori Gerard, and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray, I am so thrilled that you're taking time out from that TV show of yours to do some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers haunted? is like the best cable show ever. And Charlena Purcell. I cannot tell you how much I adore those romance novels you write. Your we characters talk to her just seem so real. In and all Secret that of stuff you know about the Old West? You are just awesome! And Tino Balducci. Only the most famous police detective in the country. And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. They're amateur detectives? My dad and their dad are old friends. <laughs> they didn't like that. And you must be the other amateur detective, their friend? Why am I just Natalie? squatting over here Nancy. in the corner? Nancy Drew? Whatever. Like, I don't have a chair oh, on the table. I'm I'll just bet you're wondering I'm where squatting we're going. over there in the corner. Well, we're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. Why? To solve the mystery of what happened to Jake Hurley, the man who originally owned this train. Because, see, one day in 1903, his train this train was found in a place called Blue Moon Canyon, which was out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Only the engineer was on board, and he was dead. As for Jake Hurley, he had disappeared from the face of the earth. What? He probably got lost oh, out in the desert. Things? Before he disappeared, Jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world. And the train Wait, is owned, this me just creeping train, out of the around the corner? His wife Camille died on it while they were going to the gold fields. It was rumored to be haunted. Ah! Oh, she's gone. Oh my gosh. What in the world? What the? Hey, what's going on? People should never go tampering with things they don't understand. Oh, brother. I love how half of them... It's okay. Everybody just stay calm. I'm just like no an need to panic. She's I'll just... get to the bottom of this. She's just being a little uh, dramatic. Well, Nancy, you're up on all that social etiquette stuff. What are you supposed to do when your hostess vanishes into thin air? Probably try to find them. I'm assuming you probably try to find them, or you just leave the party. If I don't seem concerned, it's because I'm not. Lori Gerard Fair is enough. a young woman whose only goal in life is to be famous. She craves attention and habitually uses her father's considerable wealth to get it. Sounds familiar. Okay, I'm just going to point out your skirt kind of looks like a tortilla. That's not a bad thing, but it does. So you think her disappearing like that is just some kind of publicity stunt? I just think she couldn't resist showing off in front of all of us minor celebrities. What was your name again? You know? Nancy Drew. You and I have actually met. Sort of. I called you not too long ago when I was at Shadow Ranch. 
You gave me some information about Dirk Valentine. Ah, Nancy Drew. She doesn't she doesn't remember me. Um you know, at least she has like the common sense to call herself. She's like, yeah, I'm just a minor celebrity. She's not like, oh, do you know who I am? I wrote these books. I'm a celebrity. She calls herself a minor celebrity. That's kind of nice. You don't remember me, do you? No. <laughs> no. No idea who you are. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? Psst. Nancy. <laughs> Come here. Uh, uh, excuse me for a second. I love this game. I love it. I love it. This, he just pops around the corner. Psst. This one's, this one's the best. Is this Jake and his wife? Yes. From what I've read, Camille I think I've seen this in the other games, too. Dance, even in death, apparently. Jake reportedly told people that after she died, he would sometimes see strange glowing lights outside the windows at night, bobbing gracefully alongside the train as if dancing with it. He said he found the sight very comforting. I suspect normal people would have found it terrifying. She doesn't look very happy. Hey, Nance. Where have you two been? I think... I followed Tino Balducci. And I went after John Gray. He went straight to the room in the car that used to be Camille's and didn't come out again. I could hear all these weird noises coming from inside. I think this is the first game where we have where we get to actually see Frank and Joe and they're not just voices on a phone. Any idea what he was doing? I was just about to go in, but the next thing I know, Joe's got my arm in a vice grip and is dragging me back here, babbling about how Balducci's our guy. He found something on the floor right where Lori was standing when the train went dark. I saw him pick it up and put it in his pocket. Then he left. Huh. Did you see what it was? When I tried to talk to him, he just kind of brushed me aside and said something snotty like, I'm on the job here, Junior, so just go back to the playground and stay out of the way. In case you two hadn't noticed, we're not getting a lot of respect around here. Can't we at least tell Balducci that we do stuff for ATAC? You know the rules. What's ATAC? Oh, okay. American teens against crime. We do a lot of undercover work for them. Wonder Cop's probably never even been undercover. Joe, let it go. What Charlena have to say? She thinks Lori is faking this whole disappearance thing. She's not the only one. How can you say that? You heard Lori scream. Anybody can scream, Joe. Especially girls whose fathers have given them acting lessons along with everything else they've ever wanted. True. What about you, Nancy? What do you think? Uh, I agree with Frank. I kind of agree with Frank. You've got to be kidding. Do you think maybe one of Lori's other guests is in on her disappearance? It's certainly possible. From the way she talked, it didn't sound like she knew any of them. Maybe that's what she wanted us to think. Or maybe that's what one of them wanted her to think. Oh, well, whether Lori oh. disappeared by force or by choice, what we've got to do now is find her. Absolutely. Has anyone talked to the engineer? Not that I know of. Then I'm going to head up front and tell him what's happened. Maybe he knows something we don't. Good idea. In the meantime, we'll take another look around in here. Great. Catch you later. Okay. Isn't there... I think there's Hardy Boys games. I don't want to talk to you right now. Hardy Boys games out as well. I've never actually looked into those. I've always just been more into Nancy Drew. But you know what? I might have to give them a go. Looks like some sort of steam valve. Do not open unless all pipes are connected. Okay. This door goes outside. Opening it now would not be a good idea. Yep, fair enough. I don't think I really want to fall out of the train. Engineer, what do you want? Hello, I'm one of the passengers, and I just thought you should know that Lori Gerard has disappeared. So? Uh, all right. I mean, you're the engineer of her train. Be like, hey, you're... Your owner just disappeared. Will you want to do something about that? I just thought you might want to call the police or something. Hey, all I know is I take orders from Miss Gerard, okay? Right now, my orders are to get this train to Copper Forge nonstop. And until Miss Gerard tells me otherwise, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. But Lori yeah, may not even be on yeah. the train anymore. Look, Miss Gerard may not be a rocket scientist or anything, but even she knows better than to jump off a moving train. But now, if you'll excuse I got me a train to run. He seems real concerned about it. He's he's concerned. What are we supposed to tell what him? What have you got? Nothing. See okay. you soon. You better. I will. Don't you worry. Is there anything else in here to look at? Sadie Crawford. Okay. I know from all my Nancy Drew skills and also probably the fact that I played this one a bajillion times, it's my favorite one. I need to write that down. So... Sadie Crawford. 
has two left feet. Fair enough. All right. It looks like there's something behind this painting, but I can't seem to move it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever been around going somewhere and just started moving the paintings. Flippy fins, freshly canned salmon, fresh from a hand from fresh from a hand from the deep. Fresh from a hand. What hand? I don't know why that's important. But maybe I'll need it later. Okay. So I don't think there yeah, I think that was all that was in here. I don't do I need to talk to her anymore? Yes. What are you working on? I'm writing my next book. I'm on a deadline, so until I write those two most wonderful of all three-letter words, the end, everywhere I go, my laptop goes, and every chance I get, I write. Okay. What else yeah, do I didn't you know get about to figure Jake that one out yet. You know, the man who originally owned this train? Wealthy, imaginative, adventurous, stubborn, egocentric, and most importantly, he was smitten at the age of 35 by a young French woman named Camille Voulet, who died about a year after they were married. That's really tr tragic, actually. Where was he from? East Coast. Philadelphia, I think. His parents were British aristocrats. Sometime so they were in the rich 1870s, too? he decided to seek his fortune out west, so he had this train custom-built so that he, and some years later his wife, could traverse the mountains and plains in relative comfort. Huh. So he went west and became a miner? All anyone knows for sure is that years after Camille's death, he showed up in Denver with a pouch full of gold nuggets and semi-precious stones, which he used to purchase mining supplies. He refused to say how he'd come by them, which of course led to speculation that he had found a fantastically rich vein somewhere. Although to this day, its existence remains unsubstantiated and its location quite unknown. I will say, almost every Nancy Drew up to this point had some sort, some sort of something to do with treasure. So why is Nancy not getting a cut of this treasure? That is not fair. Why do you think Lori invited you on this trip? No doubt because I'm such an authority on life in the Old West. And because I'm so good at using old information to unearth new information. My knack for research is, well, it's a gift. Well, okay. I'll let you go. All right, then. That would scare me if I had to do that on a real train. Pretty. Looks like some kind of gemstone. Can I have your eyeball? Goat. Is there one on the other side? No. Then I should probably take your eyeball. Emergency brake. Probably shouldn't pull that. Oh, I don't like this angle, but okay. I'm good at these, in a sense. Okay, so this one is going to go somewhere that has... So it's either down here, which I can't see, or it's over here, which it's not that one. So this one, we're good. It's down here. So we should get all the corners first. Okay, so that one has two. That one's going to go there. All right, so then we have this one. Which goes... I can't tell. Hold on. It's not that one, so it's going to go over here. So that means this corner is going to go there. This one's the middle. We just got to figure out the best... The right way to put that in the middle here. Got to figure out the best way there. So it needs to line up with... That, in a sense, I think. Yeah, that's the right way, because it has that going up this middle... That one doesn't go there. Doesn't match up there. Okay, so it has a bunch of green. Is it up here? Mm, no. It doesn't go there. I think it goes at the bottom. Okay. And so then the top would be this one here. Okay, so that's looking good. That looks like it matches. No, it doesn't match there. I keep... There! 
Left pickaxe and lamp with fuel for safekeeping. To open what's closed, lead is the key. Or is it lead is the key? Okay, I'm gonna keep that so I don't have to write that down. Yay! Oh, she brought a pencil. Can she bring a flashlight at some point? That's this like... must have been the sleeping car. Do I have a bedroom in here? That would be fun. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I missed. Hold on. Hold on. I need four numbers to unlock this. And there's, what, 10,000 possible combinations? <laughs> uh, guessing could take me a while. Five, six, seven. Yeah. This probably has to do with something. The positions of those, I'm assuming. Tale of Two Dolls. Ill-tempered Ill -tempered Edna could not get her way. She couldn't get Alice to come out and play. I can't. I'm too tired is what Alice said. I just want to go straight back to bed. You know what, Alice? Me too. Edna angrily tried to make herself heard, but all that came out was a two-part word. Why, I, why I'm not your mother, yawning Alice replied, till Edna the Terrible finally gave up and cried. So we have Edna the Terrible. Edna... So I'm writing this down. So we have Edna the Terrible, who is... Or ill-tempered ill Edna. She's cried. And she's ill-tempered. But all that came out was one two-part word. Why, I'm not your mother, yawning Alice replied. So, two-part word. So is she the one that says mama? assuming I remember that okay and then so Alice yawning okay so we have those I don't think there's that yeah I don't think we can go in any of these doors here or even look at any of the pictures so we'll keep going on this train car doesn't have too much in it mm, except those that rate we'll have to remember that that's there These it beeps sound familiar. Kind of sounds like the Hi, carousel. Hi, you're that game. Nancy person. How you doing, John Gray? It's a pleasure to meet you. I've seen your TV show. Then I don't have to explain what I'm doing. <laughs> oh heck no! Why you're measuring the whozy whatsism with your trusty gizmometrometer thing? Yeah. Right now I'm taking time lapse electromagnetic readings and recording background noise. This was Camille's private car. If she had something to do with Lori's disappearance, analyzing these readings may give me a clue as to Lori's whereabouts. Okay. Are you saying that Camille's ghost kidnapped Lori? What to most people are ghosts are actually temporary distortions in local electromagnetic fields caused by the presence of residual psychic energy generated right. by the person or persons who frequented that particular locale. And that's my working theory, at least. Okay. So you're like... Playing phasmophobia. That's very in here, interesting. Then. It's all very scientific, but the fact is, Lori's missing, and I, for one, am doing everything in my power to find her. The vibes I'm getting make me think she could be in serious trouble. I'm okay. Charlena Purcell thinks Lori is just playing some kind of joke on us. Charlena Purcell writes romance novels. <laughs> End of comment. <laughs> what do you think of Tino Balducci? I kind of feel sorry for the guy. After catching those bank robbers, he can't just be a good cop anymore. He's got to be a great cop. So I have to perform under that kind of pressure. Is Lori Fair a enough. friend of yours? First time I met her was when I boarded this train with all the rest of you. I knew her by reputation, of course. Like everyone else who reads the tabloids. It doesn't appear that anyone aboard this train is her friend. Hmm. Maybe she planned it that way. You mean so we'd concentrate all our efforts on finding Jake Hurley? Possible, although she really doesn't strike me as being the planning type. Well, I'll catch you later. Maybe. Goodbye. Maybe there's more to Lori that meets the eye. Maybe she's actually really smart, but she acts ditzy. You know, those hap that happens. Doesn't like Kim Kardashian or something have her law degree? This looks like some sort of game. I want to play. 
Oops. Well, I missed. Good for me. This is cute. I would actually love this in real life. It's so cute. Oh, it's going to make me go the whole, whole song. I did it! Yay! Wonder what's in here. Okay. It's the nose for Camtown Races. Fair enough. No, but I like... I like... I think it's adorable. I like vintage old toys. I have this actually sitting on top of my computer. It's a vintage little toy. And I have one back there as well. The same thing. My mom... My mom finds them for me sometimes at different antique places. I just think they're so cool. That one's a little creepy, but I like it like that. I need some music. I have the music. Can I play something? Not while he's in here. Don't do that, please. Those microphones I set up over there are very sensitive. Just about took out my eardrums. He is fuzzy. I you can some... play that thing when I'm done. Okay. I'll let you know when that is, okay, all sorry. right? Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean to take out your eardrums. Ooh. The little book of samplers. Okay. Um, I don't think I'll need to read all of that. But I will probably need that at some point. I'll, I'll remember it's here. Hopefully. Sickly Sarah caught a germ so new it so made sickly one of Sarah. pretty green eyes turn blue. I know. I'm just writing them all down now. I'm writing them all down now so that I don't have to go back and try to hunt them down later. So Sickly Sarah has one blue, one green eye. Okay. Is there anything good in there? What kind of microphones he has? Like, that's insane. How did he... I wonder if he, like, got to set up stuff before he got on... on the Or, like, before the train started. Because that's a lot of stuff to... I wonder what's under here. And what the deal is with those weird-looking bolts. I need something that will turn the bolts. I don't have anything yet. Thomasina O'Neill. Okay, so there's Thomasina O'Neill. There's around a bow, but that doesn't really mean much. Thomasina O-N-E-I-L-L. -L. It's a blue ribbon? I don't know if that'll have to do with anything. Okay. Looks like Camille was teaching herself how to play the piano. Yes, so that'll be useful for later. Except I don't need that because I know basic music stuff. It's locked. Yeah, can I can I play at the top? Play with the top of it? It's locked. Y yeah. I guess I don't get a look at it that okay. Wait, do I need Looks like some kind of sewing sampler. I wonder if there's a relationship between those symbols and those numbers. Probably the sampler book was over there as well, but I don't quite know exactly. Owl and Cherry. Cherry is 10 and Owl is 7. If that has anything to do, because the train is there and then that one's off and that one's off. And there's an Owl and a Cherry on there, so I wonder if that has anything to do with anything. Owl, Cherry. Owl is 7 and Cherry was what, 10? I'm assuming that has something to do with something. And then Awful Ursula. Awful Ursula. She has red hair and a yellow dress. Okay. Got that written down in my handy dandy Nancy Drew notebook. Oh! Hello? Nancy. I forgot hi, I had a cell phone. Hi, Bess. And me. Hey, George. What's up? What's up? You're the one who's on the train with a bunch of famous people. You tell us. This is torture, Nancy. I'm dying of curiosity here. Bess, just calm down. Are there only oh, minor celebrities? As curious as I am, she's the one who insisted we call you Nancy. Only because you're driving me crazy. I'm supposed to be helping her paint her room, but every other brush stroke, she's like, where do you think she is now? How do you think the Hardy Boys are doing? Why do you think she hasn't called? 
What do you think Laurie Gerard is wearing? Oh, George, that is so not true. I couldn't care less what Laurie <laughs> Gerard is wearing. So come on, Nancy. You're on a train full of famous people bound for who knows where. So dish already, would ya? Beth, calm down. Look what you did. You got eh. paint in my hair. It's a new hair color. Sorry. It's fine. You know, actually, that looks kind of cool. Nice try, Beth. No, really. You're just saying that because you're afraid I'll bail and you'll wind up having to paint this dump all by yourself. George, I kid you not. You should seriously think about doing some major highlights in that color. What color is it? Adobe beige. Nice try, Bess. <laughs> What's going on, man? Okay. Yeah, ne uh, Our she's gone. has disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? I mean, the train went into a tunnel, everything went dark, and when the train came out of the tunnel, no lorry. She just disappeared. Publicity stunt. My thoughts exactly. Yeah. Remember the time she was allegedly kidnapped from her Vegas hotel Okay, room? yeah, then if yeah, she's... The guy across the hall just happened to have a camera and got it all on tape. It made the evening news in practically every city in the country. And then there was her daring escape the next morning. Only it turns out she faked the whole thing. Of course, she claims her ex-boyfriend faked it to get back at her. She thought she was really being kidnapped. Like anybody believes that. Sounds to me like somebody has been spending a lot of time reading the tabloids. George has. Very funny. So what else is going on? So even... It, so it's showing that she does this type of stuff all the time anyway. So now it's even more likely, you know, that we should... Shouldn't be as worried about that. Before she disappeared, Lori told us that the purpose of this train trip is to find out what happened to Jake Hurley, the train's original owner. Was he murdered or something? No one knows. He was married to a woman named Camille, but she died. And he eventually vanished while mining for gold. His train was found abandoned in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada, with no one on board but his dead engineer. Whoa. So... Spooky. Have any theories? So someone either killed his engineer. Well, was the, did the engineer just die waiting for him? Because couldn't the engineer just leave? But then somebody probably killed his engineer. But he died probably in the mine somewhere out in the desert because he got lost. Because that'd be my that'd be my thing. I'd go out and find this awesome gold mine and then just get lost somewhere in it, not be able to come out and just die in a cave. Not yet. But the train is also rumored to be haunted by his dead wife. So first Hurley's wife dies, then Hurley vanishes, then the engineer dies, then Lori vanishes. A pattern, maybe? Beth, do us all a favor and leave the detective work to Nancy, okay? Yeah. Has either of you been to Copper Gorge, Colorado? That's my job. Never heard of the place. Why? Well, that's where the train I'm on is headed. Apparently Jake Hurley buried his wife Camille there after she died on the train. She died on the train? Ew, creepy. Yeah, you know, it happens. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody died in the house I'm living in. It's super old. Uh, um, Jake used to see strange lights at it's night bobbing fine. alongside the train and thought it was Camille dancing. Super creepy. Yeah, I just got goosebumps. Which is hard when you're practically covered in paint. Bye. Talk to you soon. Okay. Well, George, back to work. Okay. All right, so this is telling me, what does this want? Oh, I can take pictures in this one. I forgot about that. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I can take pictures in this and use them to help me with other stuff. No pictures available. No, I don't want that. Okay. Menu, emails, message from your email provider. Dear valued customer, Flea Kim Telecommunications is temporarily unavailable to pri provide you with email access. We're sorry for any inconvenience this is causing you. Unless, of course, you're a hacker, in which case we're not sorry at all. Okay, so no emails in this round. And then directory, you can call Bess and George, and that's about it. Okay, so that's on the phone. Find something that'll... So there's a bunch of stuff there as well. I'm done with that. Can't check that off, can't check that off yet. Okay. See I'm done with that. Out. Still check have off. to do that. Finish that. Can't check that off I'm yet. I'm not reading it. I'm just... Okay. So we're good for now. Hey! What? Hey! Nancy, hey. right? Hey! Oh, it's That's not my right. Name. Nancy Drew. Amateur detective, huh? Never thought about becoming a real detective? You know, like me? Well, I don't know. Do you like what you do? I love it. You, uh, heard about those bank robberies I solved, right? Yeah, because apparently that's the only thing you've yes, done. Yes, I sure did. Baffling case. Two-man team at 17 banks in three states in five days. 
He's gonna FBI tell me all about no it, even if I didn't ask. Who the perps were. But after forcing their vehicle to a stop, confronting them, despite the fact that they were armed and giving chase, I single-handedly made the collar. Right. <laughs> I heard they had a plastic knife from a carry-out chicken heard place. I all they had was a plastic <laughs> knife from a carry-out chicken place. Ha. <laughs> you heard wrong. <laughs> you see, Nancy, when somebody does something really remarkable in this country, the first thing everybody else does is try to tear them down. Reporters, Not late wrong. night comedians, even some of my fellow officers, all have been spreading vicious lies about me. Why? Because they've never done anything remarkable in their sorry little lives, and they're jealous. Anyway, you should look around in here. Lots of interesting stuff. This was Jake's private car, you know. I understand that you found something on the floor in the dining car. Yeah, at uh, first I thought it was an old coin, but it uh, turned out to be some kind of slug. Um, yeah, dude. Does that you think it had anything to do with Lori's disappearance? Nah, probably been lying there for a hundred years. It may have served a purpose back then, but now, worthless. Can, Can I have I it? it? Sure, in fact, here, keep it. Wear it around your neck or something. That way, when people ask you where you got it, you can tell them Tino Balducci gave it to you. That's exactly the what I'll do. Tino Balducci. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what else can I do for you? At least she agrees. Oh, thanks. So, what do you think happened to Lori? Well, she could have been kidnapped. She could have been tossed off the train. She could be hiding from us. But I obviously won't know which until I've gathered all the facts. So, what, what facts are you gathering sitting here? Doing nothing. When do you think that will be? I'll know the facts when I know the facts. The truth can't be rushed, you know. Right. Have you had a chance to talk to Charlena Purcell? Now, why would I want to do a thing like that? Okay. What about John Gray? <laughs> the ghost guy? Total quack. Only reason I talked to him would be to arrest him for fraud. Okay. You've been a big help. Helping people is what I'm all about. Right. Can I go back here? Wonder what Jake used this for. There's a missing pickaxe there, so I wonder if that's important. Another gemstone. Can I have it? <clears throat> Looks like an old fashioned cigar box. Wonder why it's locked. And what does AG mean? Is that some sort of something on the periodic table of elements or something? Well, it's right there, so I'm guessing yes. AG, where it's silver, so AG is silver. So then, there's not anything, there's no silver on here, so I don't know. So, but clicking that doesn't do it, so maybe I have to mix certain colors or something, I don't know. Gemstones, and how to identify them? Quartz. Okay, I'll probably need those at some point. But not right now. Nope, nope, we don't need to open it again, Nancy. Camille with Hagar Anderson and Chantilly Hildegard. Okay, oh, she looks a lot different in that picture than she did on the one in the other one. She actually looks, like, really pretty in that one. Okay, so, Hagar Anderson. Has, is a boy with overalls boy with overalls and then Chantilly Hildegard she has curls are those blonde curls maybe I'm assuming so curls and like a long dress Uh, well, let me see down there. Okay. J.H. For Jake Hurley, obviously. Yeah. Must be Jake's insignia. Should, I, should we take it? Can't take it. Oh, okay. Leaping lizards. I'm pretty sure... I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I used to play a video game as a kid. And, um... Called Freddy Fish. 
Hey, anybody else play Freddy Fish? Let me know. That was the best game ever. Um, but I used to play a game called Freddy Fish as a kid, and they would say Leaf. She, I think it was Flounder, not Flounder. No, no, no. Luther. His name was Luther, not Flounder. That's not Little Mermaid. Luther would say Leaping Lizards. Okay, so some of these have to go a certain way because they won't go any other way. So those ones have to go those ways, and this one has to connect somewhere. So that's probably going to go there. That's going to go there. That's that. There. There we All go. All done. Yay. Okay. So that one's done. Another gemstone. Hey, maybe pick it up. Maybe. Oh, wait. Eliza Sandberger. Camille called this one Eliza Sandberger, so that's another one of those dolls. Okay. All right, Eliza Sandberger received with Jake Hurley for the price of three dollars and seventy-three cents. Krollmeister, one Krollmeister doll with with decorative red ribbon, and on the sixteenth day of June, eighteen hundred and eighty. Okay. So she is a doll with a decorative red ribbon. Okay. I hope that's all of them. Because I'm running out of room, at least in that section of my notebook for it. An old scale. Strange. It seems to be built into the wall. That was weird. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait. That's an owl and a cherry. It's so, locked. Like on that train car. So Those I wrote that down. Like the ones I so, saw in that sampler. look, an owl in a chair. So we have to get... An owl is seven, but that's negative seven. Cherry is ten. Okay. Wait, so that, that opened the door. But why did negative seven do it? That's weird. Oh, wait. There's a pickaxe there that goes there, but they're missing pickaxe on the wall, so we're not going to be able to get it from the wall. I guess we'll have to find it somewhere else. Ooh. Is there anything in there? It's about that fella doll I accidentally knocked when Camille calls Naughty Tina off the shelf. Literally, I'm afraid, fractured its tiny skull. Well, so tiny... What is her name? Naughty Tina, sorry. Naughty Tina. Tina has a fractured skull. That's unfortunate. Okay. Something in the way here. Alright, so that's updated there. We're good. Oh. Camille burst into tears, the side of cracked. No traverse, Naughty Tina's face. Tears continue. For hours. Help her order as soon as we reach Copper Gorge. Okay. Is there anything else in there? No. Secret. Looks like to make this thing, whatever it is, I'm going to need a spyglass, a pickaxe, and a lamp. Citrine, amethyst, zircon. Those are all gemstones, I think. Yes. So, those are the ones we're probably finding around everywhere. So do they mean thirsty knows who's thirsty? So it's not telling me which one goes into what though, but I need those certain ones. I don't know if I'll find more than just those, but I'll come back to that if I need to. I don't want to have to write them down if I don't need them. Silver. What do all those colors have to do oh, with silver? Oh, that's that box. That's that box. So silver is orange. Silver is orange. Blue, green, red, purple, yellow. Orange, blue, green, red, purple, yellow. Okay, so blue, orange, blue, green, red, purple, yellow. Orange, blue, green, red, purple, yellow. Okay, so that goes to there. All right, so we'll in a minute, we'll go back and do that box. Another slug. Anything else in there? Nope. Okay, so the 
the diagram went to this thing. Whatever it is. I wonder what's supposed to go here. A map? Maybe? Or a big piece of paper? Looks like I need to enter eight letters into this thing. The question is, which eight letters? Mm, C-A-M-I-L-E. -L -E. It's not Camille. So I don't know. Okay, this might be that puzzle, like, where you click on it, and you have to kind of memorize what pattern. Okay. Okay, no, wait. the one to find me no offense uh, nadine not my name nancy nancy drew well as you can see i wasn't really spirited away by ghosts or anything that bookshelf in the dining car you step on this thing in the floor in there and it slides open i practiced disappearing for weeks wow was anyone else in on the trick just the engineer and all he did was keep his mouth shut that's why so I didn't stop the, the train. My dad wound up with Fair this train enough. when he bought out Noram shipping. They'd been storing it in this old warehouse outside St. Louis for so long I that everybody had just forgotten about it. Anyway, after like mass begging on my part, dad had the train restored to working condition and got me an engineer and track permits and all that other stuff until finally, here we are, on our way to find out what happened to Jake Hurley. Oh, that's so exciting. Actually, it was kind of cool. If I had the money to do something like that, and this was, I had this, that would be really fun. Uh, I think you were going to explain why you kidnapped yourself. Oh, right. Well, see, I was one of the first people in like a hundred years to set foot on this train, okay? Everything was just the way it was when Jake disappeared. Except, I also found this. It's a letter that Jake wrote in 1901 to his niece back east. He was real paranoid about claim jumpers, which is why he never told anyone where his mine was. But he was also afraid something would happen to him and no one would ever know where it was. So he wrote this letter to his only living relative, Ruth Kensington. Here, take it. You want me to have it? Why? Because you, you found me. See, in that letter, Jake tells Ruth that everything she needs to figure out where his mine is, is on this train. He also warns her that his wife's spirit is on the train, too, which kind of creeps me out. But the thing is, to find Jake's lost mine, we need the train. How do you know this Ruth person didn't find the mine decades ago? Mostly because I found that letter in the wastebasket. It was like she'd gotten so ticked off trying to follow her nutty uncle's clues that she finally said to heck with the whole thing. I don't think I would have just gotten mad and gave up. I would have found a way to find that. That's, that's a lot of money. I think I would have found a way to find it. So you want me to try to figure out where the mine is? Uh-huh. As for the other people on board, if you want to show them that letter, go ahead. It's totally up to you. We're going to Copper Gorge because that's where Jake buried Camille. So I figured his mine might be somewhere around there too. But if you think we need to go somewhere else, you just let me know and I'll have the engineer take us there. Okay. How come you didn't try to find the mine yourself? Maybe I did. Or maybe I just thought letting other people try to find it would be a good excuse to throw a party. I like parties. You know what? Me too. We have at least that in common, that's about it. I do like parties. But not like partying. I just like having I just like having a lot of people over. I think it's fun. How well do you know your guests? Well, I don't know you or those Harvey guys at all. Hardy. Frank and Joe Hardy. 
whatever. I didn't know John Gray before this either, but I love his show. And I figured he'd jump at the chance to investigate an honest-to-goodness haunted train. And now that someone has finally found me, I can finally go meet him for real. Yeah. What about Tino Balducci? I met Tino right after he got famous for solving those robberies. Inviting him here for this was a no-brainer. I mean, what an awesome detective. And those piercing eyes of his? You just know his mind's in there going 90 miles an hour. Right, or maybe to you they are. How well that do was you mean. know Charlene? I'm sorry, maybe not. I just know her from her books, which are so good. In fact, I just started reading her latest one, The Moon Tells right No there. Lies. Right right. See, what I'd really, really like to do is write romance novels. Everybody who knows me says I'd be really good at it. In fact, a while back, I sent Charlena some ideas, you know, just to see what she thought. And? She hated them. Well, we'll talk some more later. As soon as you figure it out, let me know. She either hated them because she was jealous and liked, and, like, liked it. Locked, naturally. I wonder how you open it. And she didn't want you to be like a competition. I wonder to her. how you're supposed to get this open. I don't know, man. Looks like a dance floor, maybe? Okay, got my dancing shoes on. Now what? What do they say? Okay, so this is just her dancing. What if I put her one foot there and one foot there? I bet that looks really good. That's what I would do if I was a dancer. But that's just me. Can I look at the shoes at least? They don't... I can't see what the shoes say. Um... Oh, wait, wait. Am I supposed to know... Am I supposed to know, like, what these are supposed to say, or am I just supposed to kind of guess? That's not... Hmm. Because I see the word silver there. But I don't know. Or am I supposed to go in a certain way? Maybe I'll find out later. And I, I see, like... Oh, wait, wait, maybe... Silver, but if it was silver, C E R Silverado, but it won't even let me bring that on there. So I don't know. We'll come back to that. Ooh, there's a chest over here. I can use this to open ah, that gate yeah. on Camille's car. Anything else in there? No. Okay, so there's nothing else around over here really to look at. I like that though. I want one of those. Like, in real life. Okay, so the two things I know we can do right off the bat are open that grid. And also, that box that was in, in here, I think. So, it said, okay, silver is orange. So, it's going to go orange, then blue. Blue, green, red, purple, yellow. Yay, so I didn't get to open the box, I just get... Oh, okay, so I do. Looks like a pattern for some kind of dance step. Maybe I'd better keep this. So I need to do Hurley's Whirly Burly. So that needs to go on that dance floor... Up Wilson there. Carbide and Acetylene Works. Dear Jake, I've sent you the uh, sent you two lamps which you should receive by the end of the month. When you get them, simply place carbide in the in the lower chamber, water in the upper chamber, and then use the built-in flint lighter to ignite the jet of gas which results. As you'll see, the carbide lamp is an exceedingly practical device, especially for people in your dark and dangerous line of work. Uh, would you, uh, would that you, or, I can't, something invented it. Your last letter, you sounded quite dependent, okay. 
Yeah, no, despondent. These are like old chum. Okay, I, I suppose this is under this is understandable in view of your failure to strike it rich. But I am living proof of how quickly misfortune can turn to good fortune. Little did I suspect five years ago that may attempt that my attempt to produce aluminum would instead produce calcium carbide, or that calcium carbide, when placed in water, would release acetylene. Yet suddenly I was the I was the surprise. I was the surprised, sudden, I was the surprised, but happy owner, oh, the surprised but happy owner of the patent for an inexpensive way of manufacturing an extremely flammable gas. Just as I became wealthy when I sold that patent, I have no doubt you two will someday be handsomely- I was your friend, Thomas Wilson. Okay. I don't know where I stopped at. So when you'll be handsomely, reward for your efforts, can you keep an apprised- of your adventures, keep me, oh, continue to keep me apprised of your adventures, and you'll never, ever give up. May the lamp present you soon lie your way to the gold that you seek. Always your friend, Thomas Wilson. Don't know who Thomas Wilson is. I didn't mean to do that. Don't want to hit the wrong button. I don't want to accidentally, actually, I'm going to save it just in case I do that again, and I hit the wrong button and start it over. All right, so we have that. We also have the thing for that. So we could go in and do the little dance steps, I guess. Such a pretty door. Okay, so we have the dance steps here. Is it gonna let me look at? Okay, so it's not gonna let me look at it at the same time. So I'm gonna take a picture of it. So thankful for camera phones now, because when I used to play this as a kid, I would always draw this out. Every step, the grid, everything. Okay. So one, two, and then three, four, five. Six, seven, so it's going to skip that one and go down here. Eight, nine, ten. I did it! Ooh. And a rock fell out. Neat! I got a rock! Guess Camille liked to collect dolls. Oh, yeah. So those, okay, so how many? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Explanations, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven. So I'm missing, it's this guy. Whoever this guy is, I'm missing his, because I found all of the other ones. I also need that rock. Yay, okay. So we open that. We just don't have any idea of what order to put that in. I still have no idea if this is supposed to be, like, certain words. Mm. I have no idea. It's, I mean, there's... Wait. Okay, I got one. Calico like the cat. Okay, so they have to go in a certain order. I have no idea if I'm supposed to have put these in like, like I'm supposed to find like a piece of paper or something that tells me which ones to do it. I'm just kind of guessing. Uh, I don't see anything else that's popping out to me at the moment. Silverado. So are they different places in... So there's Silverado and then there was Calico. So are they like different places or something? So 
this supposed to be like Virginia? But I don't have an A anywhere near me. So I in it has to be touching, so it wouldn't I don't know. I don't know. We'll go back to it. So we should probably talk to him that we found Lori. Well, it's the little lady detective. What do right. you need? I That's found me. Lori. She was hiding in the caboose. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She disappeared because she wanted to see who'd find her first, which is why she left that clue behind. That slug? I yeah. Mean, I knew that slug was a clue. Sure you did. That's why I gave it to you. I mean, I could have found Lori no sweat. Right. But I thought, hey, why not right. give somebody else a shot? And you came through. Nice job. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But look, from now definitely... on, if you come across anything that may have something to do with Jake hurling his mind, let me know, okay? But just so I can, you know, give you advice, help you sort things out. After all, the opportunity to work side by side with a world famous police detective doesn't come along every day, you know. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're just gonna try to steal all my glory while you sit in here and read whatever the heck you're reading. How did you and Lori meet? We. Met at a party in New York. Nice girl. Not a lot of stairs, but ah, nice see? girl. I'm not the only one getting that vibe from her. Thank you. She seems to have a thing for your eyes. Yeah, she always told me they were... What? I mean, she told me once that she thought they were very, uh, you know, brown. Mine too. Mine are very brown as well. What do you think happened to Jake Hurley? He probably died trying to work that mine of his all by himself. But I'll let you in on a secret. I'm onto something that could crack this case wide open. Oh, you are. You know where the mine is? Sorry, can't go into detail. Let's just say that thanks to yours truly, what happened to Jake Hurley won't be a mystery much longer. Right. Do you think I could take a closer look at that cougar statue? What, that cigar clipper? Uh, go ahead, let's take a look. Thanks. That's kind of creepy, but I also kind of want one. I'll bet I need this stone to build that thing in the diagram I found. But if I remove it now, Tina will know I'm onto something. Interesting. I just wanted so, to get a good look at it, that's all. What else can I do for you? Hope I didn't so, take up too much of your time. Me sitting Not here, a problem. me removing it would, would, would set him off and, you know, tell him. Ooh. Would be you know, suspicious, but not me sitting here talking to myself, saying if I remove this right now this would be suspicious but, you know, it's it's fine Hey, bud. What's up? Hmm. I found Lori safe and sound in the caboose, so I guess those vibes you got about her being in serious trouble were wrong. Strange. My vibes are never wrong. What's even stranger is, I'm still getting them. So maybe they're not about Lori. Maybe they're about you. Me? I'm not in any trouble. Trust me. Either you or Lori is, or soon will be, in big trouble. Could you be more specific? Unfortunately, no. Are you threatening I'll me? I'll let you get back to work. Come back anytime. That feels like you're threatening me. Also, you kind of look like a DJ right now. You got your headphones, your table, your... That really just looks like a keyboard. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's some sort of soundboard, but... I think you're a DJ. Where am I going now? I don't remember. Oh, wait. No, that's not there. It was in... Ah, I need to go back in here. I need to open up the other train car and do the pipes thing. That tool I saw in the caboose. I bet that's what you use to unscrew these bolts. Okay, but they're all gonna... Turn... Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I keep doing that. And now they're all out of order again. <sighs> okay, so then those are in line. These. This. This. Okay, every 
everything else is still online. That one's by itself. Yeah! Pipes to connect. It's fine. Oh man, there's three different things. Okay, so that one, those three have to go like that. Oh, boy. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. So the green ones move on their own. We go. That one wasn't bad at all, actually. Look at that. And then there's one more set, and they have numbers, and I don't have any sort of numbers at the moment for that one. And I think those are the only three. I probably shouldn't pull the emergency brake. Oh, can I take his eye now? Thank you. And I didn't grab the one on the lamppost in the other room. But I should have. Okay. Yes? I found Lori. She's in the caboose. I'd tell all you of were you. right. She disappeared because she wanted to see which of us would find her first. And you won. I sure did. The others on the train, John Gray and that police detective, do you know them very well? I don't know them at all. Needless to say, I don't watch television, so I've never even seen Mr. Gray before. Although I do know that his profession, if you can call it that, is rife with crackpots. As for Mr. Balducci, from what I've read, his success in solving those robberies was less a matter of talent and more a matter of being in the right place at precisely the right time. I could see that. He seems kind of... In other words, you don't think he deserves all the attention you know, he's getting? High and mighty. No. You and those two Bold boy himself. scouts you're with would make better detectives. Is that all, dear? They're not boy scouts. Did you know that Laurie wants They're to be great. a romance novelist? <sighs> Doesn't everyone. Not me. No, thank I don't think I've ever read one romance in my life. Unless you count Twilight. And we're not going to go there. Have you discussed any of her ideas with her? No. Could we please talk about something a little more pleasant? I'll let you get back to your writing. All right, then. All right. Hey, Nancy. I'm coming. What's with the Cheshire Cat grin? You found Lori. Yeah, I sure did. She's holed up in the caboose. And as a reward for finding her, she let me have this. It's a letter from Jake to his niece in which he leaves clues telling her how to find his mind. Only the clues are extremely obtuse. You found Lori. You got the letter with all the clues. Guess you don't need us anymore. Oh, Joe, quit pouting. Want any help? Are you kidding? You bet I yeah, do. Yeah, why don't you, we do now it together? You're talking. Yeah, we can do it together. Balducci wants me to share everything but, you I know. find out about Jake thought, Hurley with him. I thought I'll we were friends. Does. He just doesn't want you to show him up again. Yeah, he wants you to do all the legwork so at the last minute, bam, he can that's swoop what, in and grab all the credit. That's I what I'm thinking. I wouldn't tell him a thing, Nance. Unless it's to get lost. That's what I'm thinking. It stands to reason that the only person other than Jake who had to have known the location of Jake's mine was the engineer on Jake's train. Very true. Not necessarily. Jake might not have told him the exact location. Maybe he just had him drop him off somewhere nearby. Well, still, we'd be way ahead of the game if we knew where that drop-off point was. That's true. If the engineer had any surviving relatives, we may be in luck. The guy died more than a hundred years ago. How are we supposed to find out his name? Maybe Charlena What's-Her-Face could tell us how to go about it. Good idea, yeah. Frank. I'll ask her. Let me just talk to Charlena What's-Her-Face. I found a diagram for some kind of contraption that Jake designed, but to operate it, you need his pickaxe and some kind of lamp or lantern, which it looks like he gave to somebody named Buell. Buell? Bueller? Joe, show her. Show her what? That old picture we found. Uh, okay. We found this on the bookshelf. See? Buell's Supplies and Pawn Shop. That's got to be the same Buell Jake gave his axe and lantern to. Yeah, Which are probably, years ago. yeah, so they're the probably not there. The guy was a pawnbroker, Frank. The stuff's probably long gone. Or maybe it's still somewhere in Copper Gorge. Yeah. Well, that's where we're headed. So let's just hope for the best. Right. All right, see you later. See you soon. Sounds good. So, yeah, I mean, that's a long shot, thinking that that same exact uh, lantern and that same lantern and the same... Uh, a square and a duck. Now, oh, wait! seen those before? So, square... It looks like this thing opens it's up. It's the... But how? It's the, uh, whatchamacallit, the scales. But, yeah, that's a long shot, thinking that those, that lantern and the, the axe are still at that old... 
pawn shop, which might not even exist anymore. Okay, so we need to get this thing open as well, but I don't know. I haven't seen those symbols anywhere else to give us a hint as to where those might be. Okay, what else was I going for? Oh, yeah. No, wait. Oh, I need to go back. Go back, go back. I need to go find the me measurements for the square and the duck. Okay. So. Square is four. And then the duck is... Square is four, duck is one. Does it, do I need anything from this book? Those might mean something later. But I don't know right now. Because that's something to do with that, but maybe there's other... Maybe there's other uses for that other than the scales. I'm gonna go get the stone I found in here that I forgot to pick up earlier. Okay, so I need the square and the duck. That's not, oh my goodness. I need to stop clicking so fast because I just keep clicking right on past where I need to be going. That square and that duck look very familiar. Yeah. Okay, so I need So duck is one, so what if I duck, and then the square is three. No. So it's, I have to have another, I have to have some sort of other weight that's not going to get me through there. Okay. So let's see kind of where we're at here. See if those symbols on the stove are related to Sampler Camille's car. They have to do something with the scale in Jake's car, maybe. Figure out and square in the duck. Finish that. Can't check that off yet. Finish that. Check. I'm done. With Still have to do that. Read the letter that Lori gave you. Okay, so I need to read Haven't done that, that yet. Figure out peeled from one of those slugs. Check. Finish that. Finish that. I'm done with that. Haven't done that yet. Okay, I can't do... Can't check that off yet. The lock in the saving guard need to dial four numbers. Figure out which four numbers. Figure out you're supposed to move that painting of the eagle. Can't check that off yet. Wait, wait. I'm done with that. Eagle. Finish that. Is there an eagle on here? There is an eagle. So the eagle probably moves the painting. I distinctly remember Tino Balducci. <laughs> right? I mean, I remember all of them. Tino Balducci, he's pretty... Memorable. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But maybe I need to go tell Lori. I need to read that letter, but maybe I need to go tell Lori. The 3rd of November, 1901, from somewhere in Colorado. Dear Ruth, I know that, that we've never where we need to be met, going. But now that your father, my estranged brother, is gone, you are my only living relative. I am writing to you to tell you about my mind before I, too, depart this earth and its location is lost forever. I cannot tell you outright where it is, lest this epistle fall into the wrong hands, but with the information which follows, and with my train, which shall be yours upon my death, I promise that you'll be able to find it. First, you will need a map. Okay. To obtain it, know that my travels have taken me all over this great country, to Wait. towns which can be difficult to find. Calico, to Calico Silverado. Silverado, and Central City, to Dodge City, Virginia City, and Tombstone. To locate the Central mine on the City, map, Dodge you'll need City. my projector. When it comes to placing the stones, you'll need to ask someone Virginia who holds City. a warm place in my heart. I have stored his name accordingly. But to retrieve his name, Wait. you'll have to give the dolls an order. This will require looking inside Camille's dancing shoes for the name of their maker and wearing the shoes as you perform her favorite step on the dance floor. Already did as that. As for my beloved Camille, she has four words for you. Words which, when translated into numbers and used in combination, 
will help power my projector. Okay. But alas, she's taken them with her to her grave. So go to Copper Gorge, Colorado and pay your respects and let some of her goodness okay. scrub off. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to find I promised Camille that this train would always be her home. In return, she promised to never leave and indeed she never has. People say I'm crazy, but I've seen her and heard her and feel her presence on the train even today, 20 years after her untimely death. So above all else, my dear niece, let nothing happen to my train. It holds wonderful things. Kindest regards, Jake Hurley. Okay. So I've done that. I need to put the dolls in order, but I don't know what order. Um, and I, that means I rub off on you. So that means I can't find the last great, like those four words on that great, or those four numbers on that great just yet map. So maybe that's in here. I already did Calico and Silverado just from what I could see. But the next one is Central City, Dodge City, Virginia City, and Tombstone. So I know that I can at least go put those in says name that accordingly. must be the projector Jake mentioned in his letter to Ruth. Yeah. I like how... I Whoa. like... Somebody must have thrown the emergency brake. The question is, did somebody throw the brake or something? Oh, Joe, now you sound like Lori. Hey, I was the first one on the scene and I saw no one. Yeah. Who was the next person on the scene? John Gray. Then Balducci came bursting through one door while Frank and the engineer came through the other. Boy, was that guy ticked. He said That's the train probably, could have derailed. Yeah, it's probably he really bad the for the train. He muttered a few choice words, then headed back to the engine just as you and Lori showed up. Everybody was there except Charlena. I don't think she left her laptop the whole time. Hmm. Do you think she could have thrown the brake and snuck back to her laptop without your seeing her? Not likely, but possible, I guess. Can I dust for the fingerprints? The question is, why? What did she or anybody else stand to gain by stopping the train? Answer? Nothing. Which is why I think we should at least consider the possibility that something less human in nature may be at work here. Ah, Joe. I'm going to see if Balducci's done dusting Would go for fingerprints. Uh, yeah, sure yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he was on the same wave wavelength as me right there. But I was also on my way to do something and you interrupted it. But it's fine. Did you More stop questions? it? Would you like to see the letter that Lori gave me as a reward for finding her? The one in which Jake Hurley supposedly tells his niece how to find his lost mine? No, thank you. I happily leave it to you to try to solve the mystery of his disappearance. You can afford to look foolish, dear. I can't. Right. Fate. You... I d At the beginning, you were like, okay, calling yourself a minor celebrity, giving, being a little bit humble, but now you're just rubbing me the wrong way. You and your... Tortilla skirt. Do you have a theory as to who pulled the emergency brake? Well, I know it wasn't me. I assume it wasn't you, and I highly doubt it was Lori. So that leaves those two friends of yours, Mr. Gray and Mr. Balducci. Hmm. I'm having weird vibes from both of those two. What do you think their motive was? I don't know about your friends, but perhaps those other two simply thought it would be fun. Boys will be boys. Right. How would I go about finding out the name of Jake's train engineer? If you're smart, you'd ask me. And because my work is going surprisingly well, during my next break, I'll log on to my archives at home and see what I can turn up. That'd be great. Thank you. Whoever Thanks. invented the cellular modem, that's whom you should thank, dear. Right. Whoever invented the internet. Aren't you even going to try finding out what happened to Jake Hurley? No time. The only reason I haven't insisted that Lori release me from all this silliness is there's always the possibility that what happened to him has the makings of a bestseller. Although I highly doubt it. Why are you so sure that Jake's story wouldn't make a bestseller? His story is an all too common one. A man wanders off into the desert in search of gold and never returns. Why? He either doesn't have enough food or water or he encounters hostile natives. Or scorpions. But why was his train found out in the middle of nowhere with just the dead engineer on board? That does make the story a little more interesting. My guess is the engineer got tired of waiting for Jake to return, took off in the train to get help, and died of a heart attack along the way. After which, the train rolled to a stop in Blue Moon Canyon. Anyone experienced enough to single-handedly run a steam engine would have been quite a bit older than Jake. Yeah. What do you think happened to Camille? 
She probably died of something mundane, like pneumonia or even measles. Now, you're if not... it was winter time when okay, she now died, you're looking at me. and they you were in the mountains, though. Jake no doubt kept her body on the train for months before he buried her, which is rather delicious in a morbid sort of way. I wouldn't call that delicious. I'll let you Maybe get back to your writing. That would be nice. Maybe don't use the term delicious in that sense. I mean, it's up to you, but also, please don't. Alright, what was I on my way to do? Now I don't remember what I was on my way to do. Because you interrupted me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go, um... Put those name... Those no, like, those names in the box. But I probably should talk to all of them about the... What's up? So are you making any progress stop in here? Train. Oh yeah, not only am I getting some real unusual EMRs, that's electromagnetic readings, but take that's a look not at EMF. this. You've got something? I set up a camera and took some time-lapse photos. Sometimes I was in the room, sometimes I wasn't, but somewhere along the line, I managed to get a shot of Camille. Where? That's Camille? You don't mean that little blob, do you? Yep, that's Camille. How do you know? Okay. You're skeptical. That's cool. Just remember, the key word when it comes to ghostly phenomena is energy. That blob is the result of Camille's residual life force, spirit if you will, reacting right. with the chemicals in the photographic paper. Couldn't it just be a flaw in the photographic paper? Okay, it could be that too, but it's not. Trust me. I won't keep you any longer. Right. Come back anytime. Right. What are we getting on that little blip? Is that both of us? So if there's another blip in here? Is the blip moving? See, there's two, and it didn't move, so... Does the blip not represent me? Okay, so I should probably ask him if he dusted for fingerprints. Glad you dropped in. Lori told me she'd given you a letter from Jake Hurley that says how to find his mind. I didn't mention it before because it's very bizarre. Yeah. Lori should have given that to me. I mean, I'm the trained professional around here. Let me take a look. Right. I've seen enough. Two words. Use less. Are you Those sure? Those are just the rantings of a guy who spent way too much of his life swirling mud around in Pandora in the hot sun. Five-star nut job. Ray really? says she found this letter in a wastebasket. Exactly where it belongs. Did you find any fingerprints on the emergency brake handle? None that ready help, thanks to Casey Jones up there. I told the old geezer not to touch anything, Who's Casey but he went Jones? got his big, fat, oily paw prints all over the place. If we didn't need him to drive the train, I'd charge him with obstruction of justice. Oh, okay, so is his name Casey Jones? Did you do anything else besides look for fingerprints? Of course. As a matter of fact, I found this. Probably fell out of the perp's pocket while he was yanking on the handle. Looks like some kind of thermometer. Yeah, like the kind a certain Can ghost hunter it? uses on that bogus show of his. You think John Gray threw the brake? But why would he do that? Because they're thinking about axing his show, that's why. I checked with this buddy of mine in L.A., Gray's got to come up with something real big real soon, or he's toast. And you can't get much bigger than a train with a spooky past that's prone to strange accidents in Kenya. Have you confronted But wouldn't his John cameraman need to be here for that? All in due or is he just going to take pictures and I always like to get my ducks talk about in a row later. before I make an arrest. You're going to arrest him? Hey, the train could have derailed. We're talking reckless endangerment, attempted assaults, maybe even attempted murder. That's a little far. John Ray That's wanted a little publicity. Far That's exactly what I'm going to give him. Attempted murder, just by you. Okay. It's been great talking to you. Not a problem. Okay, I'm going to go this way. That's not... I probably need to... Talk to Lori too about stopping in other places. Yes. I hear that you and Tino used to be an item. When did that happen? So I should probably. That might be there, and I need to uh, make a phone call before. Do you have any idea who threw the emergency break? I know exactly who did it. You do? Well, who else could it be? 
Camille. None of us has any reason to stop the train, but Camille? She doesn't want us to find Jake's mine, so she's going to do whatever she can to keep its location a secret. Yeah. Did you see something? Well, no. But I'll tell you what. Your friend, that Jim Harley guy? Not Jim, Joe. Joe Hardy. Yeah, well, he thinks it's Camille, too. He just doesn't have the guts to say so. Bye. As soon as you figure it out, let me know. I'm gonna make some phone calls because I don't think I should know that information just yet. But it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here and find this. So the next one was Central City. So see if I can find where that's gonna start out. So maybe R L C I T. What? Okay, now I need to find Dodge City, so. There we go. Virginia City. Oh, I know Virginia. I tr found that word earlier, but I couldn't quite connect it yet. Okay, maybe I wasn't supposed to go that way. I. Will it let me go that way? Oh, wait. And then the last one was Tombstone. Do those mean anything? Guess I'm done. Strange. All that's left is a jumble of letters. So, in how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's not the dolls, because there's not enough and the thing, but I'll at least put these down. N, B, R, Z, T, B, A, A. Don't know what those do. So it didn't open anything? Dang. So we have the dolls, but I don't know what order to put them in. Do I have any sort of left left pick, axe, and lamp with Buell for safekeeping? Okay, lead is the key. Then we have that, and then I have that's that. That. So I can't really do anything with that yet. So All right. Should I start? I need a map, but According I don't. According to that diagram I found, those six gemstones are supposed to go in these six holders. But I have no idea which one goes where. Let's see, there's this a... is where a gemstone goes. What about that book? Will it have anything to do? It had a bunch of gemstones in it. So maybe if I kind of write down, I have a star. Or more like a starfish. A, is that like a... Like a talon? Like a bird talon? And then a fin. Beak. Tentacle. Ugh. And a hoof. Alright, so that's all of them. I don't... I'll probably have to match up the stone to the something. I don't know what goes there. Then there's this... Handle. Oh! Something goes there. I need a spyglass. I need a lamp. Guess the spyglass and the lamp go there. Nancy's smarter than I am. Okay. I need more slugs. So what does this want me to do right now? Find all the gemstones. I don't think I found all of them. Can't check that. Can't check that off yet. 
<sighs> Haven't done that yet. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Can't check that off. You haven't done that okay. yet. Figure out why the square in the duck. Haven't done Don't that done yet. That. Solve the puzzle with all the letters. Check. Done that. Read the letter. Did that. Keep your check. eyes peeled for more of those slugs. Do I have all Can't them check yet? that no. off yet. Go to the piano. Can't do that. Open the lock in the sleeping car. I need a dial. I can't do that yet either. Figure out how you're supposed to move the painting. I can't do that yet. Okay. So I should probably call Bess and George really quick because they're probably going to give me the dirt on Tino and... What's her face? So then, if they give me the dirt on Tina and what's her face, I can talk to her about it, and then I won't Hello? feel as bad. Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? Tino Balducci definitely has a thing for Lori Gerard. Really? Ooh, I bet the tabloids would love to hear that. What's more, mm. I get the feeling maybe Lori I was just the guessing there, and him. I didn't learn anything. You mean there's some kind of mutual attraction thing going on between them? Something's going on between them. I'm not really sure what. We'll find out. I mean, that's a mystery worth pursuing. To heck with this Jake Hurley stuff. You'd give up the possibility of finding gold for gossip, Bess? For gossip this good? Oh, yeah. Nope, not me. Lori gave me a letter that Jake Hurley wrote to his niece, telling her how to find his gold mine. If Lori knows where the mine is, why doesn't she just make a beeline for it? Because apparently Jake was too paranoid to tell his niece outright where it was. So he filled the letter with all these weird, obscure clues. I don't think Lori could make heads or tails of them. I know I barely can. Well, sounds like when he lost his wife, Jake may have lost a few marbles as well. What I'm confused about in that sense, though, is why does he think his... Unless he knew his niece was, like, super smart or something, why did he think she would be able to figure it out? I discovered this cabinet or why of old dolls in the caboose. Old dolls make my... Or why somebody who also found the letter they? couldn't figure they it out. They belong to Jake's wife, Camille. Jake mentioned them in his letter to his niece. They could have been Jake's, you know. I mean, they never had a child of their own, right? So maybe after Camille died, he went a little bonkers. Oh, Bess. Hey, I'm just trying to think outside the box here, okay? Something it wouldn't hurt you to do from time to time, little Miss No Imagination. You know, maybe I'll just put this paintbrush down, walk out that door, and let you do this all by yourself. No! You've got to keep painting. If I don't get this done by tomorrow, I'll be grounded for a month. I was just kidding about your imagination. It's wonderful. You're wonderful. Very, very wonderful. That's more like it. Catch you later. Remember, when yeah, I don't need a hint. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll go back and talk to uh Lori about Yes? I hear that Tino and you used to be an item. How did you know that? I'm a good detective, remember? We went out a couple of times, yeah. As for why we stopped going out, you'd have to ask him. I'll uh. come back later. Keep me posted! So it's not something I was supposed to know, it's me just making guesses and then... And then... Using... Uh... I don't know. Lost my train of thought there. But I was just using my intuition and figured it out. What's going on? How come you told me you and Lori never went out and she told me you did? Don't you ever stop asking questions? When people start answering them honestly, I do. <sighs> my dumpster, okay? I'm not proud of what I did. I'm not happy about what I did, but it's done. It's over. Now let's drop it. So, he dumped Lori. But she knew, so she dated a, a world famous detective. Why didn't she just pull him with her and they just could find it by themselves? He's a famous detective. He could have figured it out, right? Unless he's a fraud and she knows it. And that's why we're here because he actually can't. If you didn't can't want to it. dump her, why did you? You are incredibly irritating, you know that? Yep. I dumped her because, because people said going out with her would make me look bad. Said she was a joke, and that no one took her seriously. Said if I started hanging with her, no one would take me seriously. So I stopped calling. I feel like but you didn't that wouldn't stop happen. Caring. No. Now take a powder. I don't feel like talking anymore. I don't know what now take a powder means. It got darker.
Hey, glad you stopped in. You gotta listen to this. Okay, what have you got? I put this digital recorder in the corner where Camille showed up in that picture and turned it on so it would just keep recording. Now when you play it back at normal volume, all you hear is background noise. Okay. But when you turn the volume way up and run the signal through a filter or two... Ken sounds like crying. Hear that? I hear something. It kind of sounds like a woman singing. I barely remember. I barely anyone. heard that, though. Camille. Camille. So be careful what you say in here. She's listening. Please don't whisper at me. Are you by any chance missing a small digital thermometer? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. When I went through the box I'd packed them in, that one over there, I came up one short. I was hoping to set up at least six in here so I could check for cold spots. How did you know I was missing one? Because Tino Balducci found it by the emergency brake handle when he was dusting it for fingerprints. And now he thinks you're the one who pulled it. That's ridiculous. I didn't have any reason to pull the emergency brake. Okay. Is it true that your show is in danger of being canceled? Newsflash, my show was canceled. Happened last night. But what nobody knows yet is that it's been picked up by a major TV network. Not only am I still on the air, but I'm sitting prettier than ever. Any other questions? Okay, that makes more sense. Were you sense. in this room the whole time prior to that emergency break thing? Of course not. I made a couple of trips to my compartment in the sleeping car to get more equipment. But did I get an overpowering urge to pull the emergency brake while I was there? No. I sure did. Well, I'll catch you later. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks. Okay. What was I on my way to doing? I was gonna do something, so I'm kind of gotta find all the gin, so I did that. I'm done with that. I still haven't figured out who threw the emergency break. I've asked everybody. Um collect all the items. No, see those symbols in the stove related to symbol in Camille's car. They have something to do with the scale. But I feel like I need another slug to get that. Maybe not. Maybe I just need to do a little more. A little more, uh. finagling of those, so. Actually, I might have to do that. I might have to do a little more finagling, and maybe that's my next kind of. Nancy, you missed it. Missed what? The argument of the century. Joe, he's exaggerating. Aw, oh, come on. You heard him. They were ready to tear each other to shreds. Who? Charlena and Lori. All we heard was the tail end of it, and unfortunately, we really couldn't make out what they were saying. So, you don't know what they were arguing about? No. But whatever it was, both of them were absolutely out of their minds, livid. And it would probably be a good idea to find out why. Okay. Let me look into it. I'll talk to you later, okay? You know where to find us. Let's see if the train dude has anything to say. Engineer. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. I talked to you before, very briefly. You're not the one who pulled the emergency brake, are you? Nope. No. Good. Because if you were, I'd have to come back there and throttle you. Old as this train is, it's a wonder it stayed on the tracks. Is there any way that brake could have been activated accidentally? You pull on the handle, the wheels lock. You don't pull on the handle, they don't lock. Did somebody pull on the handle by mistake? I guess it's possible, but if you ask me, anybody that stupid has no business being on a train. Or anywhere else for that matter. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I gotta get back to work. That's funny. So does that mean anybody you think is that dumb doesn't have business in being alive? Is there another slug, maybe? Flippy spins. That looks like the fin... Fresh from a hand from the deep. Huh, so the f hand would be the fin. So does that have something to do with that little fin thing I saw earlier? And then I'm guessing the eagle painting. An eagle? Where yeah. else have I seen an eagle? It's the, the scale, but I don't see anything else. I haven't seen any more slugs. But I don't know... I don't... I'll find any more yet. I've looked kind of everywhere. Nothing on the floor. I can't. I 
can't go on the piano yet. I can't do anything there. I've gotten everything over there. That looks just like the stuff John Gray has his thermometers packed in. So did he steal his thermometer to frame him then? And I think we got this one, right? Yeah. So maybe I just need to go play around with the this a little bit more. So maybe... No, because it's not going to slide up until I have more. So there's... I have that one, but I need one more to get the other ones. Hmm. Oh, I probably should have talked to Charlena while I was in there. I'm gonna talk to Lori really quick about it and see what's going on. Before you say anything, I just want to say thank you. For what? For what? Tino came to see me. He said you'd made him realize what a jerk he'd been for dumping me, and then he asked me out. Isn't Aww. that great? He said he doesn't care what anybody else thinks. He thinks we make the perfect couple. Well, I can't argue with him there. So what do you want? Um... I understand yeah, you that had you a... and Charlena had a big argument earlier. That's an understatement. What was the argument about? Let's just say my idol turned out to have... Dirty feet. You mean feet of clay? Whatever. Let's either talk about something else or not talk at all, okay? I Hold on. Is everything showing okay here? Because it's showing up really weird on my... My end. Just want to make sure... Everything's going okay. Hold on. just not it's not having a good time it's fine bye keep me posted all right let's go over and talk to charlena Charlene, I need you More to questions. need to fess up. Also, sorry, I'm sitting here. I'm trying to figure out this. It looks like it's not wanting to pull up correctly. I wanted to make sure it's going okay. Give me just a sec. Hold on, hold on. Um, I think it's fine. I think it's going okay. Alright, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's just not showing up on my computer here very well. I just wanted to make sure the stream wasn't What were you doing and Lori arguing weird. about earlier today? Lori and I? We weren't arguing. We were simply discussing a topic about which both of us are passionate, that's all. Right. Were you discussing her wanting to be a romance novelist? No. And even if we were, that's really none of your business. I know that sounds harsh, but really, Nancy, eavesdropping is so tacky. Actually, it was Frank and Joe Hardy who overheard you. Right. They said I should talk to you before they gave me all the gory details, but since you obviously don't want to tell me your side of the story, I'll just have to get the scoop from them. No, no, you don't have to do that. A storyline that Lori submitted to me found its way into my last book, despite the fact that she never received compensation for it. She's reading the book now, and when she got to that part, she freaked. So, you're a fraud. You stole one of her ideas? You stole her she had no business sending me unsolicited material. So, plagiarism. But, technically, yes. Now, legally, she can't prove anything, and I'm certainly not about to admit anything. And it's not as if she needs the money. But that's what we were arguing about. Good. For what it's worth, I'm going to talk to this producer I know to see if he'll cast Lori in his next movie. 
It'll help ease my conscience, and who knows? She could wind up being a star. I mean, she is blonde. That's still really... That's still really dirty. And I don't trust any of the other books you've... I mean, you not like I've read your books, but... Train engineer? I wouldn't be I able to, because you probably stole half of them. to the fact that Jake had an engineer, but I'm afraid none of them included his name. I failed. Sorry. Well, right. I'll let you go. That would be nice. She's awful. Okay, so I need to find more slugs. Hey, how's it going? Tino found one of John Gray's thermometers by the emergency brake handle and is getting ready to throw the book at him. John Gray threw the emergency brake? Why would he do that? Mm. That was my first question, which makes me wonder if maybe Tino's the one who's up to something. Yeah. I still say there's less to all this than meets the eye, if you get my drift. I get your drift, Joe. I have lived with your drift for years. I am saddled with your drift. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> saddled Talk with to your later. drift. You know where to find us. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, even though I would love to sit here and play Nancy Drew all night, I am on a time crunch tonight, so I think we're going to have to call that a stopping point for this one. Um, but... I'm so excited to be in Nancy Drew's uh, Last Train in Blue Moon Canyon. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite one, and I can't wait to finish it and show all you guys the rest of the story. It's so fun. I can't wait till we get to stop the train and get to Copper Gorge, which I'm not saying anything bad because that's it already told you in the game that's where we're headed and that's where we're going. So that's where it gets really excited, and I'm happy about that. But if you want to see any of my other Nancy Drew stuff, it's also on my YouTube page. And if you want to see more... You make sure to follow as well so you can see any of the up upcoming stuff that'll be happening pretty soon, hopefully. So, because I'll want to get back to this as soon as I can. I love, love this game. Love Nancy Drew. So I hope you had a good time. Make sure to stay awesome, and I will see you next time. Bye!